Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome to my first video for the new patch, patch 3.4a. And what better way to start than to talk about one of my main champions, Zaya. Now there's a few buffs and a few changes that didn't happen to Zaya herself, but a few items and maybe a, the rune that is kind of broken now. I feel like Lethal Tempo got a buff in the most recent patch. I've tried out this new build. This is very similar to Lucian's new build that came out probably like a month or two ago. It started rising ever since the Navori quick blades buff and i thought i'd give it a try on zion honestly the results are amazing it's so so great so what you do is you completely skip out storm razor you don't build storm razor anymore you go for infinity edge as a first item now even though this item is kind of weak as a first item because you're not really getting a full benefit from the passive you still get a lot of attack damage you still get the crit rate then for the second item you go for navori quick blades this is really good especially when you get up to 75 percent crit chance unless you're super unlucky you don't crit at all and also this means that the cooldown of your um, non-ultimate abilities, so all your abilities that you can use to get out more feathers, is going to be reduced. So that means more feathers, more damage, and it's great. Attack damage, crit rate, and also ability haste. Zaya loves ability haste. Again, like I mentioned, you want to get your cooldown of your non-ultimate abilities as low as possible so you can keep spamming out as much feathers. And also that helps your passive to deal more damage. And then we have Solari Charge Blade. Solari Charge Blade got a pretty big buff in the most recent patch and now has 40 percent attack speed and it now gives 20 ability haste you still have the 25 percent crit rate in there as well and the passive is not too bad on zaya it works quite well with navori quick blades because navori quick blades when you crit it reduces your non-ultimate cooldowns and with solari charge blade every single time you use an ability your next auto attack will build deal bonus magic damage on here and this also can affect um it being a critical strike so if you do a critical strike with that auto attack with the solari charge blade passive that means that the bonus magic damage is also going to create and deal more damage now personally i still feel like zaya's cooldowns is a little bit too high and sometimes you don't really get the full benefit of solari charge blade but i definitely feel like this build can be very very strong i'm not too sure if it's better than the previous build the storm razor ie navori quick blades build maybe you can go for this and maybe go for solari charge blade as a last item but i feel like missing out on bloodthirster is pretty big because bloodthirster gives you so much ad and so much extra physical vamp now the the difference is is that we're replacing basically slow charge blade with storm razor storm razor gave us a lot of extra ad and also gave us that slow which made landing a route that little bit easier but if you're still playing front to back and if you're playing these prolonged team fights and if you can use your abilities more than once during an entire team fight and i feel like slow charge blade can definitely be a lot better more to reminder as well we're still in there is still in there sorry uh attack damage armor penetration we're going to be dealing grievous wounds to our enemy to the enemy champions so that means that they're going to be reduced in terms of healing regeneration effects um this is still really good because there's lots of healing still in the game a lot of supports a lot of healing a lot of enchant um, lots of um, bruises that have a lot of a lot of healing as well divine sundra death stance all these items are very very strong and then for the last item we have bloodthirster attack damage crit rate like i said a huge massive amount of physical vamp which helps us out a lot and you also have the overshield as well so if there's assassins or bruisers jumping on top of you you got the overshield to help you out and then for the boots i think most of the time you could just go for defensive boots i think boots of fur are pretty good to get the extra movement speed but defensive boots are also good play to steel caps or mercury chairs and then for boots upgrades most of the time it's stasis but you can go for like quicksilver if you want to or even protobelt if you want an, a bit of an extra dash then for the runes lethal tempo got a buff this patch as well a pretty surprising buff i didn't feel like lethal tempo was in a bad spot at all but this lethal tempo buff basically gave a one percent increase that you get per stack now of attack speed and a full stack bonus you now gain 40 percent attack speed so it's a huge huge bonus right at the end and you also gain more attack speed every single stack now so this rune Rune is definitely very very strong on Zaya, and it could make Zaya very very strong indeed hunter vampirism as well you gain two percent physical vamp at the start of the game which can help you in the laning phase and then every single time you get a unique takedown you gain bonus ad and physical vamp which is really nice nullifying orb is still great scales well with the bonus ad that will be uh with the ad that will be building um the bonus ad that will be uh, will be building and also helps you a little bit in the early game as well with a little bit of extra shield and then we have hunter genius again more ability haste meaning that our abilities are going to be on cooldown for a less amount of time then for summer spells we have flash and exhaust this can be swapped out 
for barrier if you do feel like you need it but i still think i still think exhaust is very very strong but yeah give this build a try let me know what you think let me know if this is better or worse than the previous build i have been playing a few games and as you'll see in this gameplay you could do a lot of damage with zaya that's one of my main champions i'm quite excited the lethal tempo got buffed and also sorry charge blade bop, uh, sorry charge blade got buffed so that means uh there's a, some few new builds popping around as well this also makes lucian really strong and some other champions which i'll be doing videos on very very soon so hopefully you enjoy the content hopefully you enjoy the gameplay stay safe i'll see you all in the next wilder video peace it could be good maybe with rift maker i'm not too sure i have to see welcome to wild rift Welcome to Wild Rifts. Please, the darkness is so last season. Oh, against Kale. Oh, my God. Friendship isn't pass or fail. It's complicated. Check this out. It's a mirror back to base. School's hard enough without the returning from the dead and saving the world stuff. What happened to, to the Samira, by the way? Oh, she's finally back. Took her a bit of time. Serious right now? What's the point of these powers? I can't say anything like that. I'll turn Also, why do I have barrier? What the hell is going on? I think I I think I picked the wrong build. Sharp as a feather. Just because I'm a star guardian again doesn't mean I'll go easy. Yeah, I definitely picked the wrong build. I guess it defaulted back to another build. I'm not going for this build. I'm trying to IE Navori Quick Blades. I wonder if I did my runes change. I don't think I'm my. I don't think my runes changed. I think I've still got the same runes. Yeah, I have two percent physical vamp, so I'm good. My runes are good. Because my summoner spell was a little bit wrong. Okay, happens. Okay, support death, by the way. It's fine, we can just chill. Darkness. Even though the lane's pushing towards them, which is kind of annoying. Kind of need help here to push this lane out. Your 
I'll take it. I wanted to barrack because I didn't know if he had his E off cooldown. If he had his E off cooldown, he might have been able to kill me. So I just barred just in case. I don't think I needed to barrier there, but I did it just in case. <laughs> just in case. Alright, nice. Alright, Navori quick blade, second item. Let's go, let's go. That's pretty well played. Unfortunately, Echo died, but it's okay. Oh, he's actually just going AD Kaiser mid lane. He's not even going AP Kaiser mid. Interesting. I didn't know if Thresh had a stack or not. Nice, good job, good job. Really good job for my team. That's not good though. Whew. That's close. I'm risking it, but I'm pushing out this lane. Trouble doesn't follow me. I am trouble. Okay. Oh god. Fine, he can't kill me. Yeah. Even if they tail dive me, I've got Barra as well, so I don't think they can kill me there. I'm not bad. Pretty good. Got both our components for the Navori Quick Blades. We'll go for that as our second item. Never change. Oh wait, does Kaisa also have electrocute? Oh no. Wait, what? What? Who? What? Rift Maker Rabadons, maybe? Yeah, I think something like that would work for sure. I don't know how well Nash's Tooth will do as well. But I don't think it's worth it to go Nash's Tooth because you can't get your E upgrade anyway. Oh, whoops. <laughs> whoops. He's so low. Whatever, it's fine. Your team has slain the Rift Herald. He's so low, but it's okay. We've got Navori Quick Blades. All right, let's go for Solari Charge Blade now. Group projects are the worst. Kaisa mid, yeah, this guy played Kaisa mid, but he's just playing full AD Kaisa mid. I thought he was going to go AP Kaisa mid, but I guess not. Okay. Somehow that worked. Okay, the damages. Okay. Wait, I do so much damage. What the hell? I do so much damage. This is crazy. And we're only going to get stronger because we're going to go slow charge blade this game. 
punk. I'm not even buying my boots up, Roid. I don't even need it at the moment. I'm just trying to build as much damage as possible. Now, Samira, buddy, you are wrong, on the wrong side of the map, my friend. You, my friend, are on the wrong side of the map. Okay, I can go back and get Slurry Charge Blade if I want. What? He killed me? I'm surprised he did enough damage there. Okay, my bad. I'm actually really surprised he did enough damage. That's my mistake. Can I just go armor boots this game? Auto attacks, even though he's AP. AD, AD, AD. I think armor boots is best this game. Oh my god. Echo. Okay, chill. Oh, he's dead. He's also dead. Okay. Group projects are the worst. I definitely feel like this build feel, uh, is pretty strong. Hey, what's up, Marifal? What's up, Chronica? Welcome, welcome. Oh my god, he just got one shot. What he got you? I, he just one shot me. Okay, thank God he got him. My God, I mean that Yono ulti was also really good. Caught us both off guard. We were both trying to catch him out, uh, catch them out, but they we couldn't. Ready then building armor? I mean they're full damage. I'm just gonna go bloodthirster. I don't need armor pen this game. I mean maybe I need the anti heal. Mm, yeah, I think actually getting anti heal is important. Maybe I should have built the anti heal earlier. They do have a lot of healing. Samira. Uh, Rengar heals a little bit. I mean, he's going Bloodthirster as well. Haha, so <laughs> got it. Oh, I didn't use my lantern. There was a lantern there. Ah, man. I didn't see the lantern there until much later on. Oh, what is this guy doing? What is going on? Okay, Thresh. The Thresh damage. No, that's not enough. Oh, he has Hook again. Hold up. Thresh Pog. Oh, minion damage as well. Oh, wait. Oh, imagine if he killed him. That was close. That was really, really close. Imagine if he killed him there. I could have used the lantern to get away to safety there. I could have done that. Is there really a new patch? Yeah, yeah. new patch. 3.4a. We have to be careful because I think they're here somewhere. Yep, I knew it. <laughs> okay. Okay, Yone. That was interesting. Okay, I thought Samira was killing Garen there. I was like, what the hell is going on? How was he alive for so long? Getting hip here and then probably go back. 
I don't think we can end. I'm going to go back and get Bloodthirst done now. I think eventually I can get my boots upgrade. <laughs> eventually I can get my boots upgrade. But hey, this doesn't feel that bad though, to be honest. I actually quite like this. 12, 3, 11 at the moment with this build. Feels pretty good. Uh, like like 70, Jeremy, like loads. I need to win loads of games to get a challenger. Actually, no, not 70, more like 60 or something. I have 100% crit now, chat. Got, who's got mandate? Oh, it's karma. Of course, it should have been obvious. Okay. Find no flash. We have a lot of healing as well. Nice. I think it should be GG. You only, you only, the only one up and up. Uh, actually, I don't think we have enough minions. Just because I'm a star guardian again doesn't I don't think we have enough minions for this. We have to wait for this wave to come and then it's like 50. Uh, maybe we could have ended. I don't know. It's a bit risky though. I think this is the safer option. Still need a little bit until Mortal Reminder. I mean, the good thing is, is that I didn't need any armor pen this game. I only needed the anti-heal. Like, none of them are building armor because they're all squishy. That's why I was able to go for full crit this game, which is really nice. Which is the reason why I'm dealing a shit ton of damage. Uh, oh, they got picking bot lane. Yeah, that's just Rengar dead, I think. Oh my god, we actually nearly died. <laughs> we actually nearly died. That was close. I thought Yanni was going to kill us. There we go. GG's. Not a bad game chat. I actually quite like this build. I feel like I'm doing a, a ton of burst damage with this build. We don't get the Storm Race as a first item, but IE is still, still a pretty good first item. 14, 3, and 12. Nearly 40,000 damage on Zaya. This is basically like um, Lucian build, but with Zaya now, with buff Solari Charge Blade. So I really, really like it. I actually feel like this build is pretty damn nice. Yeah, most damage in the game. Most gold in the game, question mark. Yeah, most gold in the game as well. Pretty good performance. GG's. GG, GG's.